What's going on guys? Welcome back to Just Talk Smith channel. In today's video, I know this intro is a little bit different than usual. Gosh, I love how this freaking coming sounds. I hope y'all can hear that. Anyway, LG ND23 rebuild is finally complete until its next phase. Here in a couple of months, we're gonna be putting a bigger lift on it, but for now, she's staying right there around three and a half inches of lift. We have done so, so much to this truck. So we're gonna do a full overview after I roll a little edit for you guys, showing literally everything that we have done to the truck. We've done 40 rock lights, five row wheel lights. Uh, we put a horn kit on it. Um, it already had a star light. There's a bunch of stuff that we've done. Custom grill, uh, hood emblems, just all kinds of stuff. So enjoy this little edit, guys. Also, check out those floating center caps. Uh, so shout out to JTX for getting us those floating center caps in time for the reveal video. Uh, huge shout out to Chris. I appreciate everything that they everybody does over there at JTX for me. Uh, we also have a set of 26 by 16 JTXs on the way for this truck for whenever we do the next phase, uh, the a little bit bigger lift. I think we're gonna go somewhere around six or seven inches of lift. We already have the 405 uh, Furies, and so that's gonna look sick on some 26 by 16 JTXs. So anyway, I'm gonna go pick up Dom and. And I'm gonna have him film his own reveal video uh, of me just kind of going over the truck and stuff. So enjoy this little edit. So sit back, relax, go grab your bite to eat, and enjoy the video. Let's go. <laughs> all right guys so here is the truck finally i hope you all enjoyed the little edit that i just now threw up we're gonna go ahead and go over everything that we've done to the truck and a few of the mods that it already had whenever i guess lg and d had it so the truck now has an entire paint match front end along with a boost bars light up grill so the truck is accented in the word king everywhere so as you can see on the floating center caps it says king on the floating center caps on the hood emblems on the grill this grill is from boost bars so we got this truck in pretty much had the paint match headlights so we had to paint match the grill surround we had to paint match the grill itself um we paint matched the hood emblems uh the mirrors were already paint matched and the cab lights were already paint matched we disassembled the entire suspension it has a flat fab three and a half inch lift the only thing that we still have to add to the suspension is the chrome face plates. Like I said in one of the teardown videos, we sent those off to Speed Sport Chrome and they still haven't came back just yet. So those will be back soon. And what those are are little face plates that go on the bottom four link arms. Um, so like I said, we've got the custom center cap. Shout out to JTX for sending us those. So everything underneath, 
was powder coated in a custom red color um, that single shot mixed up but in the rear the four link arms were powder coated the track bar the sway bar and then we also have some true spike lugs they just thread on there they were all powder coated as well it already had this nice bed cover on here this is a really really nice bed cover so moving on to the inside everything is wired up to the factory upfitter switches so aux one how do you make it stop doing that so aux one is going to turn on 20 rock lights yes you heard that correctly this thing has 20 dba rock lights underneath it but it actually has 40. so aux one is going to turn on the five row wheel lights from dba which i'm going to throw up on the screen right now and it's going to turn on 20 rock lights which is five in each fender wheel uh, attached to the fender liners 20 rock lights total that aux one will turn on along with the five row wheel lights aux two will turn on an additional 20 rock lights underneath and those are dba as well so with those being on it is very 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 lit up underneath it's daytime out still right now but it still looks crazy bright so we have five dba rock lights in each fender liner and then we have the five row led wheel lights from dba as well and those are all wired into aux one aux two turns on 20 rock lights underneath so I'm going to also turn on the parking lights, which is what will turn on all of the King logos. They light up as well. So when the parking lights are engaged, and of course this stuff is a lot brighter at nighttime, guys. Like I said, it's still daytime out here, but the King does light up on the grill, and the Kings light up on the hood emblems. Coming around to this side, we did use the plug-and-play harnesses from Mid-South LED on the Mid-South LED light-up door handles, and these are switchback as well. So those will blink orange with your turn signals. Whenever you hit your right turn signal, they will blink orange on the right side. Whenever you hit your left, they'll blink orange on the left. And another thing with the suspension, another thing with the suspension is right now, it does still have the Fox shocks with the remote reservoirs underneath. We do have a set of King uh, shocks. We do have a set of King shocks on order uh, along with the King steering stabilizer shocks on order as well. Um, so we will get those and put those on Going to the back right here We have a 12 inch TSO tip with the stainless overlays and then the tip itself is powder coated as well But the way the owner drives it's gonna end up being black here soon, but it's red for now moving around to the back side We uh, re-welded this ram emblem together. It was kind of falling apart However, whoever wrapped the vehicle didn't do that just right so we got that fixed up and it clicked back on along with some double-sided tape to you know give it a little extra strength to hold on there tight and uh that's a big polished bmw chrome hitch rear bumper was already paint matched from the factory from where this is a limited truck so since this is a limited i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the inside of it this does have stars in the ceiling and uh all black leather oh also big shout out to king speed this is the billet valve cover that's going to be going on this truck so if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for some future videos on this truck because here shortly it's going to be pushing somewhere around 1,000 horsepower. Just your standard limited inside black leather, super clean. The truck only has 20,000 miles on it. Factory running boards, they'll fold up someday. They're slower than the amps. I personally like the amps better, but it's nice to have them from the factory. All right, guys, so again, I'm sorry that I didn't do some live upload update videos on this as much as I would have liked to. We're also building another 2021 Ram. It's white. I'll try to do maybe one or two build videos on that, along with a 24-inch striker kit that we're installing on a buddy of mine's truck. So I've got a lot going on right now, and I'm going to try to make some more videos here soon of that. So I'll try to make an update video of what all is going on at the shop right now, like tomorrow or here in a couple of days. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a little update reveal video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I'm going to go ahead and throw up maybe some more shots of this thing at the end of the video. But thank you all for watching. Always remember, everybody starts out as nobody. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs> this is it at night time, if you were wondering. <laughs>